So, Tommy Sotomayor, you know you wanted to go viral just like Kevin Samuels. Well, you got what you wanted, but I don't think in the way that you wanted it. But what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. What's up with y'all, Moxie Mob? Y'all already know what to do. Hit that like button. Turn the notification bell all the way up to all. And share this video. And if you're new to the page or you haven't done this yet, please do me one small favor. Apply pressure to that subscribe button. All right? But what we talking about? What we talking about? Tommy Sotomayor went on the Fresh and Fit podcast. And he got two-pieced by this woman. Uh, this woman from Texas, uh, an IG model, but you already know what them IG models is. It is what it is. They, you know, they do their little thing. I guess um, there's an argument they was having. For no reason. No, no, no. He not finna try to play me. Who's on playing you, stupid Ooh. bitch? Tommy was already dealing with her friend who was on the lighter side of things and already had some OnlyFans stuff going on with her. But that's, a, that's another topic. I did not know that this dude was doing pornos. That's, that's pretty crazy. But whatever the case, got into a little argument on Fresh and Fit, and Tommy do what Tommy always does. Calls a black woman a bitch, all right? Calls a black woman the B word. For no reason. No, 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 he not finna try to play me on Who's this playing you, stupid Ooh. bitch? So, as you can see, this is what happened. Now, I know some of y'all is gonna definitely be like, oh, you know, well, she hit him and he has a right to defend himself. And yeah, he does have the right to defend himself. First of all, I don't know what he was expecting when you're on a live stream like that on Fresh and Fit, calling a woman the B word. For no reason. No, 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 he not finna try to play me on Who's playing you, stupid Ooh. bitch? You know, in the middle of an argument, they had, what, about 10,000 people streaming? These women go on there for clout in the first place. Let's just be real. They go on there for clout. So you, you talking to a woman like that on a live stream, you know, stuff like that is gonna happen. And yes, a man does have a right to defend himself. But this part of the video really looked odd to me. Right, you see that it's all broken up. They got it under control. He trying to get back at the chick. And it's like, that that's that's too much right there. That 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 is too it, it's just like you're placing yourself as a woman. So just like you may have heard other people say, that was like a cat fight, which is uh, pretty embarrassing. Pretty, especially when you're talking about on the level of masculinity. Now, I just told y'all a few weeks ago, just told y'all that Tommy Sotomayor is not a good example of a man. And this is a, a uh, another a, a reason you can put this in the tab under all the reasons why he's not a good example for a, a man to follow, especially the younger generation. All right. Now, y'all know one of the main reasons I said this is he is the one that that pretty much started up this whole thing with di disrespecting people's mothers. Like he called Kwame Brown's dead mother the B word. Right. So you already know. Kwame had a field day with this. <laughs> Kwame had a field day with this on his page, man. <laughs> hey, tell me, I'm gonna have some fun with you, bitch. Mama's a mistake. Down by the thing. Daddy dropped off. A little fucking mistake. Damn. You know, I wasn't gonna wear this thing till my 40th birthday. I had to bring my chain out on these bitches. You know, I'm too old to be wearing shit like that now, but I still got one, so. <laughs> Fresh and fit, Jerry Springer this shit. Yeah, so I'm gonna take me some, let me get me some orange juice shots for this nigga real quick. She caught him, she took it there, she took it there, she took it there, she brought it back on that nigga, boy. Hey. I would too if he did something like that to me. If he said something about my dead mom and, I, and I, I saw this is what happened to him, I would too. Now the story doesn't end there. <laughs> Yo, Kwame, I, I, I like I like what he did right here. He actually went and got the woman on his live stream. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. What? Tell her to um just type her email in the chat. 
I, or, or uh, send Queen Regina or somebody her email. We'll get her up here. And we found out something interesting. He actually decided to press charges. Now, me personally, I think that was that was pretty weak. But I know why he's doing it. He's doing it out of embarrassment because he got embarrassed. The bad thing about it is, and the reason why I started it off saying that you could tell Tommy has always been trying to go viral like Kevin, but not in the way he wanted, is because his page is probably gonna grow from this. You know, people gonna wanna hear, you know, this this, this whole, it's a gossip thing. So people is gonna wanna hear, oh, uh, how did you know her, this, this, that, and the fourth, and all the stories behind the back stories and stuff like that. So his page gonna grow. But I'm gonna tell you something which, which there's no price to equip for right here. He has become the face of, this is the second time he didn't got punched in the face for calling a, a black woman the B word, calling black woman the B words. Y'all know that one time uh, where he was in that, that, I think it was a car accident. He damn near was talking about he's about to pull a gun out on a black woman. So he's pretty much become the face of this. Now, you know what kind of problem that's gonna bring for him? From now on, for a very long time, wherever he goes, He's not gonna have any idea if someone that he don't know is just gonna run up on him and two PC, right? He ain't gonna, he has no idea. And there is no price that I'm willing to accept to be that kind of guy. He's probably gonna be even more worse than Hassan Campbell as far as a man that just stays in the house the whole time. But you know what they say, you play silly games and you win silly prizes. And I think this definitely uh, was a situation that could have been avoided, you know, um, by not uh, calling. Because he mostly just calls just black women the B word. I, you know, I haven't watched a ton of the Tommy Sotomayor's videos, but the ones I have watched, I rarely, first of all, I rarely hear him talk bad about women from other races. And every time I get on my Instagram, he is downplaying somebody that's black. He not talking about no other race. I don't care what nobody keeps saying. He talk about every race. No, he specifically posts pictures with black girls and literally go in on the fucking caption on they ass. You know, in the red pill community, you know, there are dudes that speak similar to him, but, but they speak about women in period like that. Tommy has pretty much decided you know, to, to target black women and talk about black women in that manner. And you play silly games, you win silly prizes. He gonna have to watch his back for a long, long time. Well, anyways, y'all know how we like to end our videos over here on Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved. Hey, I was celebrating my birthday when all this stuff happened. <laughs>